This crime story taught me how easy it was to convict a person in Florida in the 1980s. This is the case of Leo Schofield. Leo was just 21 when his 18-year-old wife, Michelle, was murdered. She was found stabbed in a canal in Bone Valley, Florida. Prosecutors immediately zeroed in on Leo as the suspect, despite there being no evidence tying him to the crime. Why? Well, one reason was his neighbor's testimony. She said that she saw Leo carrying something heavy out of their home the night of the murder. Now, what also didn't help is that Leo had a crappy defense lawyer who later admitted to being unprepared. And to make matters worse, Leo's dad made a comment that prosecutors just loved that God had led him to Michelle's body. It all seemed a little too convenient. Another key misstep was that police didn't look into a mysterious set of fingerprints that they found in the Schofield's car. And if they had, they would have matched a convicted killer. Leo got a life sentence in 1989, but he's always maintained his innocence. And that's exactly why author Gilbert King picked up the story.